All right, so I'm pretty stoked because I figured out how to shoot shots that looked like that. When I figured it out, I posted it to my Instagram stories and I had like 15 of you comment and ask me how I did it. And I gave everybody the answer that asked, but I decided to do a video as well because it's just too cool to not share. All right, so if you guys remember my overhead shooting rig video, which you should go watch, it was a couple videos ago, I have these 15 millimeter rods and these brackets that hold them together and a ball head on one side. When I combine that with this fluid video head by Manfrotto, I am one step closer to being able to get shots like that. And let me show you how. What we're gonna wanna do, mount the Manfrotto tripod plate to the opposite side as our ball head. This now moves pretty significantly out here and pivots this is the important part. It pivots directly around the center of the tripod, as is expected. But what we want to do is move this underneath the table to where it's pivoting directly around a point on the table that we can then set our subject and pivot directly around the subject. So this is kind of what that looks like there. Pretty basic but it's an interesting use for it that I don't think I've ever seen anywhere else. All right, now let's mount up a camera. <clears throat> Before I was using the uh, A6500, which I'm filming on now, I'm gonna use the A7R3, which is a much heavier camera. Let's see if it actually works. And with the Tamron 28 to 75, which is phenomenal. You may have to be a little creative with the orientation of your tripod legs because this does get a little, little heavy out to the side here. You may want to use some sandbags or spread them way out apart from each other. So anyways, so now that we've got that, we can set our fluid movement to how we want. We can then pivot around our subject and shoot it like a robot. All right, let's fire this thing up and get some shots. All right, so there's a few different movements you can use with this. You can lock off the tilt here and you can just pan directly around it, which makes for some nice, smooth, um, kind of curved slider effects. But this is, you already have the fluid head, which most people have, a, if they're shooting video, they've got a fluid video head. The, uh, these rods here are much, much cheaper than getting a curved slider, and this is a lot easier to set up in all reality. Using a slider can really be kind of a pain in the butt because you have to, you have, to have a place for it to set, you gotta make sure that your slider is not in the frame. And I found that it was kind of, I wasn't very impressed with using a slider, but I've got one that I'm gonna do a review of eventually. So go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss that. <clears throat> so you can just use these pivot shots right around the center here. And you can also lock off the rotation and just do the tilt shots, which also adds for an incredibly cool effect. It just looks cool. All right, and then the coolest part is when you combine both of them. Sometimes you have to turn the drag way down on both the tilt and the rotation, just so you don't get to moving your tripod too much. And you've got shots that can look like that. So in all reality, this is a very basic way of setting this up, but it makes for some of the coolest product shots that I think I've ever seen. Um, as far as the cost goes on this, you can get video heads for as low as 50 bucks. I, I mean, this one was more expensive than that, around 150. The, the rails, the clamps, the ball head, all these are very basic, cheap things. That, I mean, probably all combined cost 50 bucks again. So, so you can be in this 100 to $200 and really get some shots that look much, much more expensive than that. Similar shots, you have to get a robot. MKBHD did a video on that several videos on that and they look incredible but you have to have a robot you have to have the room for that you have to have at least a hundred grand I don't know how much they cost but I can't imagine they're any cheaper than that and uh, this is awesome for 200 bucks so thanks for watching if you guys like this video hit like go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss anything else like this and we'll see you in the next one